Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you how to upload your map to the Gary's Mod Workshop. So if you have just finished your map, this tutorial should help. So, first off, you see, all, you see how I have all these custom assets? If you just uploaded your map file to the workshop without doing any extra work, it's no one's going to have these assets. You know, I have this like model here. No one's going to have, it's going to be an error. All these textures are going to be missing. It's not going to be a good deal, okay? What you need to do is you need to pack everything into the map, right? And I'm going to be showing you how to do that first. So, first you want to compile your map. And once you've compiled your map, you want to download CompilePal. Now this tool is more for... It's like an external compiler that does extra stuff. It's like your compile window here, except I guess more refined but they there is a publish feature where you can pack your map and that's what we're going to be using if your map has no custom assets skip to the part where i'm just publishing it because that i have a I, there's gonna be chapters in this video okay so once you launch compile pal you want to i'm not sure if it asks you to add a game but if it does basically just do all of this stuff uh, most of this should be I don't know about game app ID, but maybe it'll be here automatically. Anyways, you just want to add Gary's Mod, and uh, you know all this stuff should be under the Gary's Mod folder, like the bin folder, exe, bb, all this stuff should be in the Gary's Mod bin folder, or most of it at least. Um, yeah. So once you do that, you want to select it and press launch, and then. It's kind of, it looks a little weird here, but at the top you want to add both your BSP and your VMF, right? So basically how CompilePal works and why it's better than other uh, map packers is that it actually looks into your, VM, your VMF file and it looks at everything you've used and it adds it to the BSP. So there's no, it's not just looking at the BSP because the BSP misses out on some stuff or it's like kind of hard to tell what's in it. This uses the actual map file, and it works really, it, it's almost perfect. I, I actually have had no problems with it, and it's really fast. So add both of these files up here, and you want to go to publish. Um, it, either of these should work, doesn't matter. And all you want to select is pack, alright? I don't know why there's that there, but once you press pack, just compile it. And I'm not sure about any of the errors, because I've never had an error, because it's perfect. But you see how it's it found all my materials, it found all my models. It looks for particles, sounds. It got my soundscape file, my sound script file, and my detail file. It got all of this. So it's that simple. Okay, so once you have packed your thing with your map with CompilePal, your BSP should have gone larger. The size should have increased at least a little bit because you're adding assets into the file. There should also be a dot unpacked. You don't need to worry about this. You can just delete that. Um, so now what you want to do is make a new folder, either wherever you want, really. Okay, you want to make a new folder. And then inside that new folder, make another folder called Maps. And in this folder, you want to put your BSP file. All right. Now, if you have any additional assets like Lua files or, um, I don't know, things like that, you can also add this into here. So like Lua. And then in here would be like, I don't know, if you had an auto run file, then you'd put it in here. Just like that. But we're going to be focusing on the maps here. So maps, break in Redux, right? So this is your map. And if you want a um, thumbnail, like in game, so when you're in the menu and you're looking at the map selection screen, it'll show a picture there if you want one of those. In the maps folder, you want to add a another new folder called thumb. And then in this folder, you'll put your image, all right? So, first off, after you've set all that up, you want to download either GM Publisher or Crowbar. Both of these work to upload your map, and I've used both. But I use Crowbar a lot more. But I will show how to do it on both. So here's how GM Publisher looks. It is a lot more modern looking, I, I suppose, than uh, most other things. Uh, but 
all you need to do here is press publish new and then basically this is where you upload your thumbnail your 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 workshop thumbnail what's going to show up on the workshop right you want either the uh, for gm publisher it's jpeg png or gif and all these need to be uh, it kind of just says it right here but you want a 512 by 512 image for your map okay so so once you've uploaded your icon you want to go down to add-on path here right and this you want to put to where your upload is right so where i put the the maps and the uh, this folder with your 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 files in it right you want to just like copy this and put it into here or if it'll open here you want to just go here and select this folder select this there we go select that folder and then it should load up and it looks good so then here you can add a title we'll do um i don't know test map upload right and then type you can set the type of your the type of your add-on here so map weapon vehicle whatever you're uploading because this can work with weapons or vehicles or this is just the basic formatting of this but we're doing map so map and then you can add tags here if you'd wish so fun realism cartoon you know all that and then you'd hit publish to publish it and i will do that right now just so i can show you even though I'm, i don't need to publish this but i will so it'll upload all the content and then when it's done uh i guess it'll open a preview but i'm not logged into steam so we'll go to my profile here and there it is see right here and then from here you can edit the title and description change add the description it automatically puts it on private i believe so make sure you change it off of that or hidden and then um so once you've like changed your description and you made everything look good and you've added photos into here I, i'm not gonna say always add photos because if you don't want to don't but it makes the experience it make, makes people want to download your add-on more okay so add some additional images like right here Okay, so that was GM Publisher, and I'm going to be showing you Crowbar. Um, so you want to go to... I don't know what Crowbar looks like when you first open it, but go to Setup Games, and then hit Gary's Mod, right? Go to Publish. Make sure it's on Gary's Mod. And then you want to... Oh, I guess hit the, the Refresh button here. And it'll load up all your stuff, all your um, things you've already uploaded. Oh, this is actually my draft. So we can just change this real quick. So crowbar is a little bit more confusing, but it, it's it's generally the same idea. You add the title here, so test map, whatever. Description, change the description to whatever. And then you can add like a change note here. So on Steam, if you went to change note here, it'll, it'll show um, what you've done here. So then same thing down here, content folder, you wanna go to here your where your map is you want to open that and then preview image same thing here find the 512 by 512 image and this also works with gifs or both works with gifs they just need to be under a megabyte large and then uh visibility you can uh, you can actually just change it to public if you want it to be or crowbar at least and then tags over here like the other thing and then type and uh yeah pretty simple so that's how you upload your map and publish it if you have any questions or you need any help make sure you leave a comment and i will try to get to you and uh you know i don't know everything but i'll try to help the best i can um and yeah if you if you really want to check out i have an old video that details the same process but i mean it's older and it uses different tools uh, the reason i'm making a new video is because that i know of these other tools that are better and i find to work better for me but if this doesn't work for you for some reason you could go back to the old video and look at that and hopefully that'll work anyways thanks for watching bye